When we're talking about spying, we're not referring to how your boyfriend checks your texts or how your parents spend each night wading through your filthy, filthy browser history. Because the examples we've got in this list are far scarier than that. We all know our internet activity is constantly tracked using these non-delicious cookies you acquire every time you visit a site, and that this information is used to target us with ads. But let's find out how who's tracking you through your TV, why your car is going to snitch on you, and where your phone keeps records of exactly where you've been in our list of seven ways you're being spied on right now. Number seven, CCTV. Wherever you are in the world, no matter which country you're in or what kind of government is in power, the one set of statistics rising in almost every nation on the planet are those relating to closed circuit television coverage. The market for world electronic security systems was worth $58 billion in 2015, with CCTV accounting for nearly two-thirds of this. Asia accounts for 42% of all CCTV cameras around the world, and Beijing alone has 600,000 in place covering each corner of the city via a system hilariously known as Skynet. In the US, federally funded high-tech streetlights with built-in surveillance cameras have also been rolled out onto American streets. But it's British citizens who suffer the most intrusion, with 6 million CCTV cameras covering the UK today, and many Western nations are beginning to follow suit due to the technological developments made in the industry. Previously, the monitoring of CCTV footage was archaic, as it involved humans being paid to watch them, and if you've seen literally any action movie ever, you'll know the security guy always falls asleep at the crucial moment. But with the advent of facial recognition technology, this lazy SOB could soon be out of a job, and an eagle-eyed public observation system could fundamentally change the way governments and their public interact. The main problem with this is that many regulations related to CCTV are advisory and not legally binding legislations. And with many CCTV systems being entirely privately operated, this means that right now, people can track you and identify you for whatever reasons they so desire. Oh goody. Number 6. Track the plastic. Have you ever phoned up your Visa or MasterCard provider and asked them not to perform data analysis of your spending habits? Chances are you haven't, because that's a very specific thing to do. But unless you deliberately opt out of this practice, your entire purchase history using these cards can be sold onto advertisers who then target you on Facebook, Twitter, and the web with ads linked to your customer profile. This is also true of store loyalty cards, as well as commercial credit and debit cards. So the next time your browser displays a whole heap of adverts for Miley Cyrus tickets, misshapen cucumbers, and strawberry-flavored lubricant, don't play dumb, my friend, because the world is on to you. Number 5. Your Car Many modern cars now come fitted with airplane-style black boxes, which can be used by both the authorities and insurance companies to investigate automobile accidents. If you say you're going at 15 miles an hour when you smashed into that group of Girl Scouts, when you actually were hitting back to the future level speeds, your car is going to rat you out. Even if you don't have a black box, you can also be tracked using your car's sat-nav equipment, and manufacturers such as TomTom Tom have been known to share information with the police when requested. Whilst this may seem fair if it reduces the number of road fatalities, what may unsettle you is how this information can be used even against safe drivers. If you have an insurance policy based on only using your car on certain terrains and under an agreed level of mileage, your black box and sat-nav equipment will expose you should you breach these terms. Any insurance claims you make could then be invalidated and your next year's premiums are going to get a whole lot more expensive to boot. Number 4. Your webcam. Not many people realize how easy it is to hack into somebody's webcam. All it takes is one wrong click and your laptop or tablet can suddenly start broadcasting your face and voice to anyone and everyone. This horrific invasion of privacy has led to all sorts of activities being recorded by internet peeping toms, 
and many instances of revenge porn have been attributed specifically to webcam hijackings. But if you're thinking only the most paranoid conspiracy theorists would stick a piece of tape over their laptop webcam, then think again. This man does it, and he's FBI Director James Corney. This guy does it too, and he's Mark Zuckerberg. Although, you probably knew that. So look people, I guess what these guys are saying is to treat your webcam like you would a wiener. If you're gonna get it up to no good, cover it up. Number three, messaging. Anyone here still sending emails? Both Gmail and Yahoo users automatically give up their rights to content scanning when you sign up to their services. So unless you opt out of this, you'll receive targeted advertisements based on the things you write and the emails you receive. This is also true of Facebook Messenger. And in May 2016, yet another lawsuit was thrown in Mark Zuckerberg's webcam avoiding face by plaintiffs Matthew Campbell and Michael Hurley, who claimed to have evidence of message text being scanned and indexed in a searchable database. The case was first filed in 2014, and Facebook denies charges that the way they harvest your data violates any laws, but their source code shows quite clearly that they retain the ability to mine URLs and keywords from your private messages. But exactly what they do with this information is still unclear. Number two, your TV. In Soviet Russia, TV watches you. Well, not anymore, because since the advent of smart televisions, your home's idiot box is doing a whole lot more than just turning your brain to mush. Many smart televisions now contain interactive features advertised as providing tailored content suggestions and real-time tech support. But since this technology is automatically set to always run, your viewing habits and even your conversations could be monitored and mined for data. And the scary thing is, this may have happened already. If you own a Vizio brand TV, your daily activities have been tracked for some time and subsequently sold to advertisers who cross-reference the info with your IP address. But more creepily is the way some Samsung televisions use their voice activation capabilities to record your home conversations. Their own privacy policy states the following, begin quote, Please be aware that if your spoken words include personal or other sensitive information, that information will be among the data captured and transmitted to a third party through your use of voice recognition." End quote. Fellow South Korean TV company LG were even discovered to be monitoring customer viewing habits even after they claimed they had disabled the feature. It is suspected that many smart TV manufacturers have implemented this technology in their televisions. So a word of warning to our viewers, whether you're gossiping about secret government cover-ups or how your best friend Kelly slept with Scott even though she's seeing Steve and Scott's a real douche, just remember to talk somewhere your TV can't eavesdrop on the conversation. Number 1. Your phone. Let's be honest, how often do you pay attention to the permissions you give every time you install an app? I'd wager you are too excited about the prospect of flinging animals at different animals to care what information you've just sold to some random company in Botswana. So let's take a moment to scare you, shall we? Apple users. While watching this video, go to settings, privacy, location services, system services, frequent locations. You'll see a section called history. Android users, go to Google Maps, open up the sidebar and click your timeline, or just head straight to the Google location history page in your browser. You should now be looking at a detailed history of your recent movements. Turning GPS off or opting out can stop this being recorded, but even this won't stop you being tracked by cell towers with reasonable accuracy. Also, unless you've disabled yet another function, every photo you take on your phone contains something called EXIF data which not only includes technical information such as focal length and aperture, but also the location in which the photo was taken. The law surrounding the legality of using all this data is complicated, but when government agencies such as the NSA and GCHQ are known to have capabilities to access it without your knowledge using PRISM, P-R-I-S-M, that's an acronym, does permission even exist anymore? Has that last entry creeped you out a bit? Well, let's build on that and see how things are going to get even worse in our video of the seven creepiest future technologies coming our way.